Hello guys, Doggy here from Pretty Good Escape, and today I'm gonna do an unboxing of the Razer Taipan. So yeah, we're just gonna take a closer look at the box first. Okay, so it's a little bit dark today, so I have to have the flashlight thingy on. Uh, but yeah, we'll we're gonna make it anyways. Uh, we're gonna begin on the top here, of course, and we can see that it says Razer Taipan, expert ambidextrous gaming mouse. Yay! Is it something? Huh? Little tab. Uh, so yeah, you, yeah, you can actually see a picture of the mouse. I didn't really notice that. Uh, you can see it on the, on uh, the the camera, but not on on the package, which is quite weird. X-ray, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna go down here, of course. Okay, so on the front of the package, we can actually see the little racer logo, of course, and the mouse, which is an ambidextrous mouse, which uh, means that it can be used with it, either with this hand or the right one and that's good so uh, another thing to notice in this is actually that it seems to be green uh, and all the, all the Razer products the mice is actually uh, have a blue uh, logo thingy okay so Razer Taipan Expert Amateur Gaming Mouse 8200 DPI 4G dual sensor that's too much uh, sensor system which is uh, improved ambidextrous Ergonomics and Razer Synapse 2.0 enabled. I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay, here we get edu.razer.com and for gamers by gamer, of course. Okay, so uh, here it says esports ergonomics, and they have been working with this together with some uh, teams. Uh, you can probably read for yourself, but these are the teams Empire, we got. Re recent gaming. I haven't heard heard of any of these teams. But it might be like StarCraft teams. Is it called StarCraft? It might. Uh, I have no idea. So yeah, we're gonna see on these things here. I'm a director's design. 4D dual sensor system. Well, I don't even know what that means. Nine buttons, which is a lot of buttons. I don't really know why you'd have that. Uh, I'm gonna get it a bit more steady. There we go. Uh, 100 hertz ultra pulling on the flash sensitivity and or ultra slick mouse feet which should be cool and it's the expert one uh, there's also an essential expert and elite so yeah on the other side it will actually explain a little bit more uh, about what the 4G dual system is and uh, instant in game this lets you execute headshots with ease while moving with instant in game responsiveness really cool uh, improved ambidextrous ergonomics and this thing which is quite cool is like uh, it saves your stuff your settings on in cloud format if you say so and the type I'm gonna actually save it so you can bring it to like some other uh, place where you have a computer and you can play this with the same settings there which is really cool and on the back we have a little more specs about it it's uh, seven foot lightweight braided fiber cable and I like braided cables, they're really cool. Uh, Razor Synapse, we got Ambidextrous Rubberized Contoured Thumb Grip, which, which will be cool to see what that is. And the 9 Programmable Hyper Responsive Buttons. A little more about this. Uh, 1 millisecond response time, okay. Up to 200 inches per second, that's, really, <laughs> that's a lot. And it's compatible for Windows and Mac, yay! And, okay, so as you know with all Razer gaming mice, you can actually open it up like this with a little amazingness and you can actually see the mouse and we're gonna take a close look at what it says in here warning highly venomous and the taipan is actually the most most poisonous snake to this date and i do not like snakes only in mice format and you can read a little more about it put fear into the hearts of your foes as you re rain rain Victorious with the Razer Taipan. And this is how it looks like from the box. If you just would show the box. Okay, so now we're gonna open this up and I'm I'm using an an all in trustworthy called Tento, I do believe. Uh, which is kind of a samurai sword. We're gonna see if this will work. That didn't work at all, so I'm gonna use this splinter. Are they called splinters? A tree. It's at least, I don't know, I, I don't go with that, but it did work better than the Katana Mini. Okay, so now we're gonna open it. 
Okay, so hopefully we'll get this open. Yeah. I would actually need a wider feel for this. Uh, I'll have to do that later. Oh! Here we go. Oh, that was actually quite cool. Uh, so yeah, a weight box. We've already checked on that. Uh, you know what? We will, we will begin with these things, of course. <laughs> oh, God, that was actually quite cool. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna take a closer look at these ones as well before we head over to the mouse. Okay, so can we get this out here? <gasps> Sticker! Yes, 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 yes. My life is complete. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna begin with the stickers because they're they're the most awesome thing. Here we get two stickers with this, of course, uh, racer stickers which you can put wherever you want to. I actually have one on my computer and have saved all of my art stickers. Yes, and it seems like they made these things larger because they weren't this big before. I'm gonna open this up and yeah, we'll begin with this. Whoa! Congratulations! There's no turning back. I would like that. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's uh, I don't know if this is a certificate of authenticity, but at least uh, it's actually quite fun because it says demand the best hardware of to turn at it. That's not a real word, which I think is fun, or it might be now. And it's of course from the notorious racer guy. I do not know what notorious means, so I might have said something wrong. But it doesn't matter. Racer logo on the back is cool. We also have a Taipan Master Guide because if you want to master the Taipan, you must train. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna burn here. Uh, which is just, it just says a lot of it. If I, I might actually show you how to install this uh, if I think it's necessary, but. Also, uh, not so master guide, a quick start guide. It's a, a bit smaller, of course, but it does say stuff in other languages. Oh god, it's shimmering here. Weird. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to move this up a bit. There we go. And last but not least, we get the uh, Razor Synapse uh, thingy with this, so we can know what it, what it's all about. Uh, can we this reach this read? And settings anytime anywhere. Okay, so now finally it's the time to look at the thing we all been waiting for. The mouse. And I do think you only do like this. That's easy. And it doesn't itch, it's just alright. Oh look, amazing. Uh here we got the cord of course and we have to do like this. Down you go. Open this in some way. Yes. Oh no, the mouse. Oh touch it. I feel it! Oh my god, it was actually quite cool. Okay, so we'll begin by looking at the USB cable, and as you can see, it's gold plated, which is actually really cool. And actually, it also says Racer on it. And yeah, it says Racer on it, which is actually quite cool. And uh, the reason why it's gold plated because it gets a uh, better response, which is good. And we also have the braided cable, which is actually really soft. Uh, and I do like it. It looks. It looks like kind of a snake, uh, or like a snake skin maybe, and actually really cool. I do really like it. And now of course to the mouse, uh, you can see the racer logo here, which actually will light up. Uh, we got a scroll of course, I'm gonna check how that looks like. It's, it actually it feels a lot, uh, it feels really good actually. Uh, we got two buttons here as well. Seems to cooperate quite nice. Uh, why do you have two buttons up there? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and uh, the reason why it has actually two buttons here and two buttons here is because uh, it's ambidextrous and so you can either have it like this or this. So it actually feels really really good in your hand as well. I'm gonna show you a bit closer soon. But the, these buttons work really good as well, and it's quite quite a quite a good feeling to. If you have your hand here as well, because it has quite a rubberized grip to it, and the rest is kind of uh, well, it's plastic with kind of like a silicone cover on top of it, which is quite I do like that. The recent products and 
at the bottom here and at the, and at the bottom it looks like this it says well all the colors actually <laughs> really cool model and oh god the, the sensors actually look really cool uh, and actually it says on this little white thing here I, you probably won't see it but it says that you shouldn't really look straight into this but it doesn't really matter for now because we are actually it's not on so you have the hyperglides here or I don't even really know what they're called and they're really super slick as they said we got vents of course <laughs> I'm just kidding I, I really actually don't really know what this is this might just be for for design purposes uh, but it looks really cool it's on both sides we can get it here as well yeah uh, so yeah that's actually really cool so I'm gonna test this out plug it into my computer and you'll see how it looks like and I'm gonna tell you a little more, more about it okay so here it is plugged up to the computer also the abyss is here joining us today so I'll give a brief demonstration as you can see it's actually green and it's it's pulsating as well, which is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you in the dark how it looks like later on. It's actually really cool. Uh, and uh, well, this is of course the older one. You can see a review on this one as well on the channel. And uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you. This is with uh, the abysses. I can't get my mouse up here. Uh, so yeah, you can see the DPI on this. This is the highest one. And this is with the uh, with the Taipan, of course. So this is looks this is how it looks like then. Oh god, it doesn't really even sound anything. And yeah, I also want to uh, point that out. Uh, uh, if we would, just the sound of this, and then the sound of this. Okay, so as you can see, this I'm gonna do like this. Uh, it doesn't really. It isn't that fast, but <laughs> with this one, uh, it's, it's really good at uh, at gliding on. Or well. It's really good surfacing on the mouse mat, which is awesome. Okay, this is gonna be really dark, but hopefully you'll see a bit at least. Uh, as you can see now, <laughs> it actually looks really cool. Uh, I've been training it out as well, of course, uh, playing some games, and I have to say, Taipan actually wins uh, over these two by a lot because it's it's really good, it has really high DPI, and uh, it has a lot of more. It has it has uh, it has more buttons and all in all, just general general awesomeness in it. So yeah, hopefully you like this review. Uh, and if you do, like, comment, and maybe subscribe because we will uh, do other reviews. Also, Eddie will upload a video a review on the Imperator soon. So yeah, stay tuned and bye.